Tell me about the, what stage you're at with the preparations for next season with the Oxford United women's side. Uh, at present, we're still looking to recruit uh, ready for next season. Um, the girls don't actually uh, report back until January for testing, and then they'll begin pre-season training in February, uh, and then the season starts late March. So to be fair, it's not, it's not that far off now. You've had uh, a, a changeover of players already. There's a few of the, the players have been in a while, have moved on. Other players, I know you're delighted with Demi signing and a few of the younger players committing their future. That's, that's a good sign. It is a good sign. You know, like um, you, you can't stand still in football. Uh, you've got to progress and you've got to look towards the future. Um, you know, next year isn't the season when uh, teams get relegated. So, you know, it gives us a chance to, to build a little bit of strength within the squad. Uh, we've got quite a few good young players coming through who probably won't be able, won't play a full season, but they'll play a bit part. So it's a good time for us to blood them, uh, and just get prepared for the following season. You know, you're looking at a two-year plan really. Part of that plan, Kayla's moving on. She's got her opportunity. I mean, you're gutted to be losing one of your best players, but also you can't stand in the way of that sort of opportunity. No, you can't because um, you know the women's game's progressing that that uh, well that um, you know that especially in the top league uh, the full-time professionals uh, kaylee has been offered that opportunity deservedly so you know she's been by far our best player both on and off the pitch um, I'm trying not to say that because she stood behind me she so. stood behind me <laughs> but uh, you know I, I may get you know a little backhander yeah, when she goes yeah. to the club she's going to um, but uh, you know she as I say like on and off the pitch um, and uh, you know she comes across as, as being professional. Uh, she trains well. Um, we've got to say, and you, you train how you play, how you play, how you train. Kaylee does exactly that, and it's a great example for our younger players coming through. Um, taking up something like football from a young age and, and progressing through it's something that you always dream of. And to be honest, I the way that women, women's football has progressed um, has happened really quickly. But I didn't think it would be in time. Um, for me, I thought I'd be hanging the boots up before um, the opportunity comes. So, yeah, it's um, something really special, and obviously. You deserve the opportunity. <laughs> Thank you. You leave, I know, with a heavy heart. You've loved it here. Yeah, I, I can't fault. And it, um, the welcome that I had at the club initially when I came was real family filled to the club. And obviously, I spent two fantastic years here and, and could have spent many more um, if it wasn't for the opportunity coming up to obviously be full time. Uh, you're a good example to the other players here, the younger players coming through, that work hard, because you do work incredibly hard at your game, work hard and you can achieve your dreams. Yeah, and I think um, for the first time um, in a long time, it's something that the league itself looks sustainable. So if you're a young player coming into the game, why not? You can potentially have a, a career in full-time football. So hopefully if you're, you, you're 18, 19 coming into WSL 2 or WSL 1, um, there's a real chance for you to make a living out of it. Was that opportunity there when you first played football? It just didn't exist, did it? No, it, it was unheard of. Um, obviously, at that time, there was the professional leagues in America. Um, and as I say, with the WSL, and it's happened before, and it's just obviously the sustainability um, now. And I just think with, uh, obviously, the, everything that goes on behind closed doors, it's something, like you say, that people are doing it already, uh, playing football for a living. Um, so it's a real opportunity. And if, and if you're younger, there's, there's girls out there now that are at school um, wanting to be a, wanting to be a full time footballer, which is fantastic. I would also say as well, you are fiercely competitive. I've seen you, <laughs> but you play with a smile as well. You you enjoy your football. Yeah, uh, obviously, and and at somewhere, enjoying my football here as well. And obviously, it's a huge thing for Oxford to um, be accepted into the Super League. Um, and I come into it, and I, I was grateful to be taken on at um, such a good time for the club. Yeah. Um, and obviously the development of the club, and I'm just delighted to have contributed in whichever way I have over the over the last two years. Upwards and onwards for you. I think upwards and onwards for Oxford United women as well, because it's, it's in good hands. We're heading the right direction. Definitely, and I think all you have to do is just look at um, the youth players that come through last season. Um, I think that's the biggest credit to the club is is the players that are developing through the centre of excellence. Um, and you've got youth players that are coming in and maybe didn't get as much game time in, in the first year of WSL1 that were... So had cemented places in the first team um, in our second year and I just think that's going forward obviously what you need for the development of the club. Someone gets their opportunity now, they're going to replace you aren't they? Uh, yeah definitely, no I know Oxford will be fine and obviously I'll always be checking for results, um, like you say it's with a heavy heart that I leave and and um, I'll always be checking in. <laughs> it's not it's not a great surprise that a club from one of the high divisions um, is, is going to take a plunge with uh, Kayleigh. Um, is there a big step 
to that higher division? I don't think so. Um, you know, like uh, Keeley's got everything that she needs to to progress in that in that league, um, and who knows where it might end up? You know, like the club she's going to, that may be a step to another club. And um, I know I'm, I'm sure Keeley's got uh, her ambitions uh, when she gets into that league. Um, who knows where it's going to lead? You know, like uh, with, with anything in football, if she continues the way that she's been playing for us, who knows?